August last year, so August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, so eight months in. Um, so what's been happening? So the last update, um, I was still experiencing kind of, you know, grumpiness, meltdowns, and I had to take away, or take myself away from um, the day-to-day -day, um, because I kind of recognised that was quite difficult to get on with. So, um, and yeah, that has improved massively. Um, I don't know whether you can see, but I actually did a bit of a car camping. Um, last night because I'm quite an outdoors person and um, yeah, and I found a really beautiful spot um, right by uh, the lake. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I thought now would be a good time um, to kind of update how I've been getting on. Um, so the mood wise, um, it's been a lot better, although um, just after Christmas I had a huge meltdown and I mean a huge meltdown um, to the point where I had my first argument with my partner first time in three years um, or almost three years and uh, and in all fairness that was a built up of a lot of issues and problems um, including my partner breaking his uh, three bones in his foot, which resulted in being um, incapacitated, um, well, immobile really, for um, the best part of three weeks. So he was hobbling around and I ended up doing a lot of things around the house when it's usually kind of a partnership thing. Um, and so that got built up and then I was working as well. Um, and yeah, and then obviously the moods kind of kicked in. And on top of that, um, we had our rooftop tent stolen. Um, so there was a lot of kind of emotions built up. So, and it just got bottled and bottled and bottled. And even though it wasn't hit my partner's fault, um, I just felt that, you know, there were things that he could have still done. But like I said, it was just emotions kind of playing up and everything like that. So, um, otherwise, um, I think my mood's been really, really good. Sleep has been hit and miss, but then I have been ill as well. So I had a really, really bad cough that impacted my sleep patterns. Um, my cycle it feels like it's kind of regulated back to the normal of how it was um, before um, I kind of went through this phase in my life. Um, and yeah, but generally all good, I think. My last cycle has been a bit of a weird one in the sense that it's um uh it feels like it's more of a panty liner um uh, cycle as opposed to that kind of heavy um period that i've experienced in the past before um but oh, oh, eggs. aches and pains have been fine um Exercise, I suppose I could do better. Weight seems to be stabilised, but I am struggling to lose it. Um, any excess weight, um, but at least I'm not gaining more. Still experiencing some of the bloatedness, um, but I think that can be easily managed. And I kind of drink a lot of honey and ginger, which seems to help alleviate the, the bloatedness side of things. Um, and then I spoke to another girl actually recently and she was saying that she was trying to manage it naturally and I said to her, says, I did that for six months, it didn't work, I'm telling you to go on the HRT patches. Um, so yeah, so that, that that's generally my update. I don't think I've really got anything else to update and other than, you know, kind of, again, the advice is seek um, help if you need to talk to someone, um, recognise and track um, your cycles, your mood swings and then you'll know then how to manage it. So I always know that coming up to my cycle I tend to not sleep so well and then I feel like kind of, I don't know, I think we've nicknamed it period flu. So yeah, I kind of feel that kind of, you know, cold symptoms in the sense like it gets sniffly and I get hot. Um, I don't tend to sweat as a person anyway, but I do feel that kind of the change in temperatures in hot and cold. Um, what else? Um, but yeah, talk to people, seek advice. Um, the tracking really, really helps 
because then you'll know that if you are going to be grumpy then you can manage it either through making sure you talk to the people around you to so that they know to expect that you're going to be grumpy and then they know what to do um, but But yeah, the tracking helps massively, so, um, but don't feel, and I know I know, I keep saying this, um, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, you're not alone, don't feel you have to suffer in silence, seek help, talk to people, and it shouldn't be that hard, so that's my update, see you soon. Um, adding on to my video that I forgot to mention as well, one thing I have noticed changes in as well is um, my skin. So suddenly I've developed this very random dry patch on my forehead. Um, yes, skin has become a lot drier and probably slightly more sensitive since, um, yeah, since being on the perimenopause, I suppose. Um, however, I do feel that the patches have helped with my hair because I was suffering from considerable hair loss in the sense that it's every time I wash my hair, every time I ran my hands through my um, through my hair, you know, I was getting kind of like clumps or lots of hair basically to the point that, you know, I had to have to hoover nearly every day. Um, so yeah, so those are the other changes that I've noticed as well. The skin has been over the last couple of months. so. It could very well be related to um, the changes in the season. Um, could be just old age. Um, and it could be a number of things really, I suppose. And also um, I have noticed that I haven't drank a hell of a lot of water. So I do think that I've always said throughout my whole life that water does play um, a key part um, in kind of maintain your body functions and and health wise and benefits and so on and so forth so um i do think you know that i haven't been drinking as much water as i should um caffeine intake's probably been a little bit higher than normal um but i'm hoping kind of you know with the weather brightening up as you can see now um that that will change um including my skin as well I haven't really changed anything else in, in terms of my skincare routine to kind of trigger that. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's part of the old age, isn't it? You know, kind of thing with your skin dehydrating, everything sagging. I don't know. Um, I I'm 50 this year, so it's kind of, um, I I've been quite lucky with my genes up to now. Um, but I am, it is starting to catch up with me, so could only get away with it for so long and so I've got to be thankful for that reason um but yeah those are the other kind of additional things that I've noticed in changes but like I said it might not necessarily be related to um the HRT or the perimenopause or anything it could just be age but that's my personal journey anyway so that I thought I'd add that in um as well um so yeah it'd be interesting to hear how everyone else is getting on with um, the HRT patches. Um, if you are on the same as me, which is the Everall Conti and the Everall 50, which is the Everall 50 is where I have to use them um, twice a month um, during my cycle or when I normally have a cycle. And then the Every Country Conti is the patches that I use when I am not in my cycle. So yeah, um, going back to my cycle as well, I do want to mention that um, it is very, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, um, I, I can't tell when it's going to happen, so it's not regular, it's very irregular is what I want to say, so sometimes I could, it could be, I could have a cycle um, twice a month, 
sometimes I could have a cycle, I don't know, once every six weeks. And so that is very unpredictable. That's the word I was looking for, unpredictable. So yeah, so I think being prepared um, at all times is really, really key. So I always carry, um, you know, uh, sanitary towels, tampons, things like that with me um, and yeah because uh, I've heard some horror stories and I don't want to be kind of in that situation um, so yeah so that that's my cycle and so um, yeah um, it's been so unpredictable to the point that I've had to cancel three smear tests um, because every time I think that I'm in the middle of a cycle um, yeah the, the period raise its ugly head so that's um the issue i'm having at the moment otherwise you know everything seems to be generally manageable um so yeah but still it's a good idea because it does kind of come on i do can tend to come on when it's around that time so whether it's a week or so earlier or a week late um, so I kind of know, and, and, and your body too, seems to tell you anyway, so when it, you're roughly about to um, come on in the, well my body does anyway in the sense that suddenly I will feel quite warm, can't sleep, and then I'll feel those kind of almost fluy symptoms. Um, so yeah, so I kind of know, but it's roughly, you know, kind of, but yeah, sometimes I can go through a month with two cycles. Um, they're not really particularly heavy, but hey hey. Um, but yeah, the main thing is kind of the mood, the mood side for me has changed drastically. The cycles probably is definitely improved. Um, anxiety is probably not high at the moment at all. I don't really get those random kind of anxious feelings, you know, butterflies in the stomachs. Um, apart from that kind of meltdown I had just after Christmas, but I think that was triggered by the factors and, 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 and the things that was going on in my life. Um, but I've not had any real meltdowns as such. In fact, I've been more tolerable, um, especially around my partner's kids as well. They're teenagers and so anybody who's got teenagers, I hope you can relate. Um, but I am a lot more tolerable, patient. Um, on the times that I feel myself being quite short, um, I kind of, you know, highlighted to the kids and says listen I'm grumpy so stay away from me if I were you or at least behave um and yeah and they, 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 they're very very considerate in that sense so the um so yeah well yeah those are the main changes I've been experiencing over the last couple of months um I would say that things has massively improved so um it's all good um I think so anybody who is considering on using HRT patches um I would highly recommend it personally um, I wish I hadn't waited this long so and uh, yeah interesting like I said to see how everyone else has got on do keep me updated thanks